Hello, I am Shola Mike Agwola, the director of Evom Films Incorporated. I manage Evom Channel on YouTube. I'm glad you're watching this. Evom Channel is dedicated to uploading highly inspiring original videos ranging from movies, musicals, teachings, talk shows, live events, conferences, and more. I urge you, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to enable you to receive notices of fresh uploads on this channel. What else? Encourage your loved ones to do the same. Welcome on board. Thank you very much and God bless you. I've told you over and over again, stop bothering me with religion. No, it's not religion. Then what is it? It's Jesus. And besides, I'm not bothering you. I'm only telling you Jesus loves you. I already have a lover in this school. And you know him. Danny is my guy. <laughs> and I know him very well. <laughs> he won't like to share me with anybody. Not even your Jesus. Listen, Moses. <laughs> I'm not the only beautiful girl in this school. There are many others. Tell your Jesus to look for one of them and call his love on her. Hmm? Honestly, I felt like giving up on you that day. But I remembered Jesus did not give up on me. He would not be happy if I gave up on you. So that was why you kept coming back? Mm -hmm. I didn't want you to perish in your sins. Seeing the wayward life you lived and the worldly friends you kept then, I knew it was a matter of time. We we're going to land in a big mess. Mm -hmm. You're right. Looking back at all the things I did back then, partying, smoking, drinking, alcohol, dressing immorally, doing hard drugs, and all the terrible things I did, I agree with you. My life would have been a mess. But I thank God. You never gave up on me. I thank God for that day. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. 
That is his mercy. You are now born again. You are now a brand new person. <laughs> I congratulate you. Thank you, Moses. All thanks to God. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> After winning my soul for Christ, you didn't leave me alone. You continued to follow up on me until I became established in Christ. I remember on some occasions you invited me over to join you in preaching to other students on campus. <laughs> I eventually became a fervent soul winner myself. <laughs> we won many souls for Christ. You didn't leave me alone. I remember one day <laughs> you did something. What? <laughs> you invited me over to the chapel premises. I actually thought you were going to give me another path exhortation on how to remain strong in Christ. However, you <laughs> gave me a powerful surprise package. Remember? <laughs> You proposed to me. And even weeks after that anointed proposal, you didn't leave me alone until I prayed through and God told me to say yes to you. And you said yes to me. <laughs> <clears throat> we thank God for everything. And here we are, celebrating the 10th anniversary of our marital journey. Hmm. God blessed us with two wonderful boys and a beautiful girl. Right. We've had our fair share of marital ups and downs, but by the grace of God, we do not have any major challenge. And God is helping us build a thriving ministry together. We need to give thanks to God. Hmm? <laughs> Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Hallelujah to your hands. Wonderful. We worship you. You're so good. We worship you. These 10 years of a wonderful marriage of Jesus. So wonderful. So wonderful. Ask, Father, you are good to us. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am Mr. Bandy. Bandy. I'm sure you do not know me, but you know Tuwela. Tuwela? Your husband's former girlfriend back in school. Oh, oh, I, I remember uh, Tuwela Anderson. I am Tuwela's cousin. Oh, I see. Uh, I met her some years ago. That was um, after Moses and I had begun our relationship. Uh, we met her when we were coming from Bible study one evening. <laughs> Toela mocked Moses. She laughed at him. <laughs> she even called him a Jesus freak. I remember her well. Good enough. Uh, well... I called to inform you that Moses and Toela are back together. Back together? Where? In a relationship. Madam, your husband has been in a secret affair with Toela for close to a month now. Who, who told you that? Nobody. I just told you what I'm sure of with concrete evidences. Woman, your husband is a bloody cheat. You must be a big fool to continue to live with a man who is just using you. Thank you. Hello? I, I don't believe it. I can't believe it. I, 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 I can't believe it. I will not believe it. No, no, not my Moses. I trust him. Huh? <laughs> 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 
There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> My usual blend? Yes, I only added a little plum to give it a different taste. You love it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, darling. Yes. Are you hearing from your old university mates? Well, once in a while. You know, some of us belong to the same social media platform. Why? Oh, well, just, just curious. What about this bad guy back then, Jackson Adegun, your course mate? I hope he has surrendered his life to Christ. I pray so. Really, I've lost contact with him. He's not on our platform. Uh, and then, this very troublesome lady, uh, the one who used to taunt you for being a Christian. Towella, what's her name again? Oh, Towella. <laughs> that lady. She was really, really troublesome. Only God knows where she is now. Thank God I know where I am now. I am in Christ. And you? Um, I am also in Christ. <laughs> ah, I like this. <laughs> Shopping today. Oh. I need to pick this for my so for my son to pick. Oh, good afternoon, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Bless you, ma. Yes, Thank ma. you. Ore? Hmm. Do you know that woman? Sure, I do. Mrs. Hmm. Mercy Ademulero, the wife of Pastor Moses Ademulero of Christ the Solid Rock Ministries. Right. I pity that woman. Mm. Why? Her husband is cheating on her. Huh? <laughs> he has a secret to have him kept in a neighboring town. <laughs> you don't mean it. Ah. <laughs> My friend, he is always with that other woman whenever he tells his wife he's traveling out of town to minister. How is he able to keep it a secret from his wife? Ore, right. men. <laughs> ah. Men, you don't joke with them. That is serious. Some of them are more mischievous than serpents. Oh, wow. Ah, God have mercy. God have mercy, you. Hey, 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 now what? Wow. <laughs> ah, that is so serious. Just pity ya. I like this. Okay, I'll send you. Sweetheart. Yes. I want to ask you a question. Uh, what? Toella. Are you still seeing her? What is it with you and this Toella these days? at me eyeball to eyeball and tell me the truth what is going on between the two of you going on like what a relationship Jesus I can't believe this who or what is giving you this idea me in a relationship with someone else 
<laughs> Sweetheart. My dear, you don't trust me. I do. I only ask a harmless question. You call that a harmless question? Me, Pastor Moses Ademolero, in an affair with another woman. <sighs> no, no. I am disappointed. Ah, Mercy, you disappointed me. For God's sake, we've been married for 10 years now. You know what I can and cannot do? In spite of all I do to be a good husband to you and a good father to our children, why did you decide to hurt me like this? See, that is the problem with you women. You never know where to draw a line between a man's gentility and his irresponsibility. Look, I won't allow you to spoil this brand new day for me. It's better I leave for office now. Dear, I just asked a simple question. Dear? Dear? That is fine. Oh, he traveled for administration. I will. Please take good care of yourself and your brother in school. We wish both of you all the best in your terminal examination in Jesus' name. Um, Precious, don't forget to deliver my message to Emmanuel, okay? Goodbye. Who is this? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Mr. Bandy. Oh, you still remember my voice? I cannot forget your voice. The terrible thing you told me about a month ago when you called has permanently registered your voice in my memory. Unfortunately, you did not believe what I told you that day. Well, I'm sorry to bother you again. You have another bad news? I'm afraid, yes. My cousin, Toella, is now pregnant. She's carrying Moses' child. <laughs> Mr. Bandi, what do you stand to gain from all these lies you're telling me? They are not lies. Besides, I'm not doing this for any gain whatsoever. Okay. Let's assume they are not lies. Uh, don't you think by revealing the secrets you're risking your relationship with your cousin? I am a child of God. I have the greatest respect for Moses. You won't believe this. I got born again after watching one of your husband's sermon on TV some years ago. I don't like what Toela is doing because it will bring shame to Moses and his ministry. I have tried to make her see reason to stop the unholy relationship, but she has chosen to remain adamant. I want you to know so that you can take action and put an end to this unholy relationship. So what makes you think I believe what you're telling me? Oh, really? I don't expect you to believe me. Because no sensible wife will believe any allegation against her husband without any proof. Especially coming from a complete stranger. But I am ready to prove what I know about your husband and Toella. How? Um, I will take you to the house where your husband comes to lodge with Toella in Oshobo. Hello? 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 I am ready to give the two of them a close monitoring. You see, the next time I notice that husband comes to lodge with Toella, I'll give you a call. All you need to do is to travel down to Ushobo Town. You know, just a little over an hour drive from Elori. If you tell me where to locate you on arrival, um, I'll pick you. And then I, I, I'll drive you straight to Toella's house. Mm. 
This is the house. I'll go in there while you remain here in the car. But keep your eyes fixed on the building. Okay. I'll be back shortly. So, make sure you hide yourself very well so that no one sees you, okay? Okay. Thank you. Sorry, ma'am. This cannot be possible. My Moses cannot be in that house. <laughs> ah. Hi, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Where are you? Yes, sir, my madam is here. You know, <laughs> it's one of those things. <laughs> yeah, I just look so funny. I just so funny. <laughs> but then, that's the way we should do it, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Please. 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 Did you see that? Those two boys are Toella's children from a previous relationship. Moses knows the boys are Toella's, but he has no idea who their father is. Toella only told him she's a widow. Moses has already taken over the responsibility of footing the bills of the education of those two boys. Oh, I'm dead. No, not yet. But you'll be dead if you don't do something fast. Can you imagine? This man told me he was traveling out of town to minister at a church convention. Is this the venue of the church convention? Most of the time, when he tells you he's going out of town to minister or going out for a personal retreat, this is where he comes to. Hmm. Who was that young lady who came to open the gate for you? Oh, she's Toella's maid. Her name is Bintu. <sighs> Men. Men. No, sorry. Not all men. There are many responsible men out there. Your husband only chose to be one of the irresponsible ones. Please, can you drive out of this place? I can't bear this anymore. I can't. <laughs> Hello there. Sweetheart, how has been your day? Hectic. It's been a busy day speaking at the convention and attending to some folks who came for counseling after the meeting. Well, the grace of God is sufficient for me. Amen. Where are you now? Uh, uh, in the hotel room. My host just dropped me off at the hotel they booked for me. How was the ministration tonight? Great. What was that? Oh, oh it, it's a spoon. It accidentally dropped from the table. What about Linda? 
Um, she has gone to bed. I encouraged her to go to bed earlier so she could wake a little earlier tomorrow to prepare for this quiz she has in school. I just said I should check up on you before I go to bed. Uh, thanks, dear. I love you. Hello? Hello there? Hello. I said I love you. Yes, you love me. I mean, I love you too. <laughs> Have a good night. You too. is Moses driving out. to Willa with her two boys. Where are they going? Where are they going? Good morning to you. I am Towala's friend. Sorry, she left the house a moment ago. I know. I, I want to leave a message for her. Okay. Go ahead, ma. I'll deliver the message. Can I come in? Sorry, um, she didn't tell me she was expecting any visitor. Besides, I don't know you. Uh, but she knows me. In any case, can I get a pen and a paper? Okay, I'll get them for you, ma. Just a minute, please, ma. All right. Um, Bintu. Uh. Oh, you know me. I told you your boss is my friend. And I'm sure she would not be happy to know that you kept me standing here. I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. You can't call me. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Sorry, <laughs> What are you looking for? My ATM card. I think I forgot it on the bedside cabinet in our room. Uh, it's safe there. The door is locked. Uh, yes, I know. But I need the card for an urgent transaction this morning. Okay. I'll just turn around and get it. Sorry, guys. I'll drive fast so you won't be late for school. <laughs> so sorry. This is the final confirmation. You seem to like the photograph, Ma. Oh, yes. I, my friend and her husband look beautiful in it. Yes, Ma. They are very much in love and they are very nice too. 
Oh, you're a nice young girl too. Okay. I like your personality. Thank you, Ma. Um, here, Ma, you can drop your message for my madam. No, I had her think. I would prefer to send her an SMS or even give her a call. Okay, Ma. Um, your name, Ma? My name? Um, just tell her, Paddy Paddy friend came visiting. <laughs> Paddy Paddy friend? Mm -hmm. Mom. Don't, don't worry, she will know me. Hmm? Remember, Paddy Paddy friend, okay? Okay, Ma. Paddy Paddy friend. <laughs> okay, Ma. <laughs> uh, who are these? My madam's children, um, John and James. Oh, they look cute. You have the key to the room? Yes, I'll be back in a jiffy. All right. Sorry, guys. You are not going again? Mommy, you won't believe this. As I made for the house, I put my hand in my side pocket and I found my ATM card right there. <laughs> Please, fire this engine and let's get going. These boys are getting late for school. All right. <laughs> ah. What is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Not today, not today. Not today. Pinto, darling, thank you very much. Welcome. Good. I would like to take my leave now. Okay, ma'am. You're welcome. All right. Say this anymore. I have played the fool long enough. Moses has been riding me like a donkey all along. And finally, this is it. It is time to let him know that I am not a fool. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I will make this house hot for him when he returns. I will bring down the roof of this house with my noise. He must own up. He must own up to his infidelity. <sighs> My daughter, do not despair. Lord, this is too much for me. This pain is tearing me apart. Yes. But my grace is sufficient for you. Remember what I revealed to you in that dream? I showed you that revelation to let you know that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Trust not in any man. Trust only in me, for I am the Lord. The I am that I am. I will neither leave you nor forsake you. My daughter, remain steadfast as a virtuous woman. Continue to engage in prayers for your husband. Ha. Prayer. Just ordinary prayer. 
Yes, prayer. <laughs> However, prayer is not ordinary. Prayer is a powerful weapon. When rightly used, prayer has the power to produce amazing results. Remember my inspired words. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Agreed. Lord, but your word equally says that faith without works is dead. While I pray in faith, let me work things out myself. No, you cannot work things out yourself because your husband is currently tightly entangled in the web of lust and carnality. Any human action you take now to disentangle him will be counterproductive. It will lead to an undesired destination. Ha. Huh. Yes, I know what you do not know. Trust in me with your whole heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your path. My daughter, continue in prayers. Let me fight this battle for you. My daughter, continue in prayers. Let me fight this battle for you. Yes, Lord. I will. I will keep praying. I will let you fight for me. Lord, I pray. Give me the strength I need in the strength. <laughs> oh, Daddy and the Lord. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mercy. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, glory be to God. Um... With respect to the report you made to me concerning your husband, I invited him over to my office today. We spoke at length, incidentally. He denied having any affair with any woman. Jesus, he denied what I saw with my two eyes? He even begged me to reveal who told me all this, but I didn't because it's not necessary for now. <sighs> He strongly believes that somebody is after the downfall of his life and ministry. Um, Messi, uh, are you really sure of this allegation? Oh my God. Daddy, I saw everything I told you with my two eyes. I saw him in a photograph with that evil woman, hung on the wall in that evil woman's living room. These are not lies, sir. They are not lies. Mercy, mercy. Um, I believe you. As a matter of fact, somehow, my spirit bears witness with the fact that you are not lying. Daddy, what baffles me is that the Holy Spirit is restraining me from fighting dirty with Moses on this matter. Honestly, Daddy, I feel like a fool. Uh, daughter, uh, uh, the book of 1 Corinthians 4 thing says we are fools for Christ's sake. You see, uh, Abraham too must have felt like a fool when God told him to sacrifice his son. But he trusted and obeyed God. And you know the end of the story. Oh, mercy. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to do his work. Why we trust him? Okay, sir. Uh, please, rest assured that mommy and I will join you in prayers on this matter. Um, very soon, this mystery will be resolved and the storm will be over. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Please, greet your children for me. I will, sir. Bye, sir. Bye bye. Hello, Mr. Bande. Oh, hello, madam. 
How are you today? I'm fine, thank God. Are you sure you are really fine? Sure I am. I don't think so. Why not? Nobody can be fine when there is fire on his rooftop. What do you mean? Hmm. Hmm. You left fire on your rooftop and you went to sleep. Remember, the last time I called you was about three years ago. Yes. I told you Tuwela had eventually delivered the pregnancy she was carrying for your husband. It was a baby girl, remember? Yes. I expected you to do something, but you have since not done anything. I have nothing to do. Nothing? Well, <laughs> this is why I said you left fire on your rooftop and you went to sleep. Woman, do you want this fire to consume you, your marriage and your ministry? No. Then do something about it. About what? The fire. Mr. Bandy, there is no fire anywhere. All you are seeing is just ordinary smoke. Really? But don't forget that there is no smoke without fire. Right. But in the presence of Holy Ghost fire, every other fire becomes just ordinary smoke. Mr. Bandy, I have done the needful. A moment ago, you said you had nothing to do. And just now, you said you have done the needful. I, 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 I'm confused. But I am not confused. Thank you for your concern. Have a good day. Wait, wait, just before you cut. I'm sure you know that Moses bought a plot of land for Toella and has been building a house for her. No. Well, the house is completed and Toella is preparing to move into it with her three children next month. Um, I will send the address of the house to you through an SMS. Eh. Um, yes. Um, by the way, where is your husband? He traveled. He went for a personal retreat. Correct. <laughs> he went for a personal retreat with Toella. He came in two days ago. He's currently with Toella. Mrs. Mercy Ademulero, if you love yourself and your husband, please do something and fast too. Hello? 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 God, I am confused. Jesus, I cannot believe this. Mercy, you mean this has been happening to you? And all you've been doing is pray. Mercy, I'm sorry. What you are doing is not Christianity. It is stupidity. Linda, I came here to share my problem with you because I know you to be a fine Christian and also the wife of a minister of the gospel yourself. I came here to be counseled. Of course, that's what I'm doing. No, you're making me feel terrible. I'm sorry. If I'm making you feel terrible, mercy. I'm only being frank with you. You said your husband has a secret wife out of town and a strange woman has a child for him. And all you could do is to pray. I went there to confirm things for myself. What happened thereafter? You did not challenge him. You did not make the house hot for him. All you do is pray. Ah. You even said he built a house for her. And you knew that ministry funds were used for the projects. Wait, Mercy. What kind of house did he build for her? I don't know. Because I didn't bother to go and confirm. I know it is true because my informant gave me the address of the house. Still, you did nothing. Oh, I did. I went on my knees and prayed the mom. I also made sure that whatever project and expenditure I was doing with Moses was not in his name, but in the ministry name, so that I can automatically be a co-owner. I also stopped accepting invitation to attend events in the same town 
where he lives with the woman so as not to embarrass him or myself. No, a man like that does not deserve an altar of respect. You have to embarrass him. Yes, slam a divorce on him. No, I can't do that. God hates divorce. Not in this case. Friend, I'm also a Christian. I won't mislead you. That man has no respect for you. A man that could go to that extent can kill you. Mercy, wake up. Divorce him. Hmm. Rhoda is making some sense. I think her advice is worth considering. No. She did not make any sense. Her advice is evil. Mercy, continue to pray. You will receive a divine intervention very soon. Mercy, what are you thinking about? Um, thank you, Rhoda. Bye-bye. I don't understand this one. How would she be going through so much without showing it to the world? Rather, she goes about ministry with joy and confidence, like one who has no care in the world. Honestly, I don't understand her. I don't know what to do about John's jump exams holding next week. What was the problem? He was supposed to be learning for the exams. I would have taken him there and brought him back afterwards. But his exam date falls exactly on the same date as my own promotion interview here. I'll take care of that. Since I live in Elori, I'll take John with me when I'm returning home tomorrow. He will stay with me till he writes the exam. If he wishes, he may even stay a few more days after the exam. I'll bring him back afterwards. Wow, thank you very much. You're welcome. What can I do without you? What can I do for my love? <laughs> <laughs> but what of your wife? There's no problem with my wife. The only thing is that you must instruct John never to reveal his true identity to my wife or to anyone else. I'll know what to tell her. I will do that. But who will you say the boy is to you? Uh, leave that to me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, his name is John. He's one of my new disciples. He told me he has an entrance exam to write in the city next week. He also said he doesn't have anywhere to stay, so I offered to bring him with me. To stay with us? Yes, till he writes the examination. But you didn't... Oh, yes, I know. I didn't discuss this with him. But it was an emergency. Besides, I see it as an opportunity to show the love of Christ to a young convert. And I know you won't object to that. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> Said it. Uh, who are these? My madam's children, um, John and James. Oh, they look cute. Mm. Uh, sorry, what's your name again? John. Ah, John the Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, man. Um, come on, come, let me show you to your room. Oh, thank you. Thanks, dear. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Hello, John. How are you doing? I'm fine, Mom. You are preparing very well for your examination. Yes, Mom. What of your dad? 
It's fine, but it's not home. He went out this morning. I guess to fix his car. That's all right. What of the woman? She's home with me. She's such a nice woman. She's been treating me like her son. Remember what I told you. Do not reveal your identity so as not to put the man in trouble with his wife. Yes, mom. Sorry, Mom. Someone's knocking. I'm sure she's the one. We can talk later. Yes? Your breakfast has since been on the table. Come and eat. Okay, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Okay. Um, sorry. When exactly are you writing your exam? This Friday, ma. Oh, good. I wish you all the best. Amen, ma. Thank you, ma. By the way, do you have any sibling? Yes, ma. A boy and a baby girl. Wow, congrats. Thank you, ma. Which school do you attend? Top Notch Academy. Oh, wow. That's a good school. You attend the same school with your brother? Yes, ma. Ah. Uh, the school is very expensive, right? Yes, ma. It's an international school. 70% of our teachers are expatriates from the US, UK, Canada, and some other developed countries of the world. Yes, I, I know the place. Mm -hmm. Well, in any case, come and eat your food before it gets cold. I will, ma, but that will be after I'm done with the topic I'm reading. Okay. Yes, ma. Thank you very much. Good time. Yes, ma. <laughs> Moses is sponsoring the sons of a strange woman in one of the most expensive schools in the country. But he chose to put my children, our own children, in an average school. I know it is funds from the ministry that we both labor to build that he is using to pay their school fees. This is the same ministry that Moses is putting at risk with his selfish desires. No, I can't take this any longer. I will confront him this afternoon. That is exactly what I'm going to do. No, Mercy, don't do that. Moses is a mere human being, living in the lusts of his flesh. But Lord, he's piercing my heart with a hot dagger of infidelity. He's cheating on me. Not really. He is not cheating on you as you think. He is only cheating himself by allowing his flesh to lead him. Mercy, remember, a leopard can never change its spots. Only God can change Moses through the power of his Holy Spirit. Your job is to forgive and pray for him and all those who are helping him to betray you. Dear. Oh, hello there. I called to let you know that I am back in town. Unfortunately, I am currently held up in a traffic gridlock around uh, Unity roundabout. It was caused by some impatient drivers. Oh, sorry about that. Thanks. Uh, good enough. Traffic managers have arrived to manage the situation. I hope to be home soon. Okay, dear. Please take care of yourself.
बाय बाय हो इज इट Which Toella? Toella Anderson. Jesus, what do you want? I'm here to say hello and to tell you something important. Mercy, why are you looking as if you just saw a ghost? <laughs> well, I am not a ghost. I am Tuella Anderson for real. I know you are surprised to see me, but don't you think Katsu demands that you offer me a seat? Thank you. I am here to tell you something that will break your heart. Moses, your husband, and I have been in a secret relationship for eight years. I have a child for him. Moses has been taking care of me and the child, as well as my other two teenage boys from an earlier marriage. of woman are you? You never bother to follow up your husband to make sure he doesn't cheat on you. Well, I have come to tell you something which I believe will be the last thing you want to hear. I, Toella Anderson, will eventually snatch Moses from you and make him move in permanently with me. Whatever it is that has been giving you power to stay in a loveless marriage will soon be destroyed by me. So, start making plans to live your life without Moses because your relationship with him will soon be over. It is written in James chapter 1, verse 19 and verse 20. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Mercy, this woman is on a mission to get you upset so that you will cause a sin to not respond to her. Continue to pray in the spirit. What are you saying? Oh, you are casting me under your breath. <laughs> Oh, go on, curse all you want. That doesn't change anything. I will soon destroy whatever it is that has been giving you power to stay in a loveless marriage. If you refuse to move, I will move you. I believe you got my point. Moses is mine. I will take him from you. Do whatever you like. I don't care. I will take him from you. Nonsense.
Brothers and sisters, I apologize on behalf of my husband, who is inadvertently absent for this ministry board meeting. You all know that he has never missed any board meeting before. He knows quite well that this meeting was scheduled for this afternoon. Unfortunately, he is yet to return from his ministry trip and his phone number has not been available all day. I believe it is well with him in Jesus' name. Amen. I appreciate the fact that you all tried to wait for him but had to decide to proceed without him because of some important and urgent decisions that need to be made. Um, I am here to stand in for him. I must confess, it is very difficult to attend without him. Uh, Brother Dan. Yes, ma. Please pray for us as we start this meeting. Uh, shall we pray? Almighty God, we appreciate you for this wonderful time. We commit this meeting unto you, God, that you will chairman the meeting in the name of Jesus. Amen. My God, that was a particularly difficult meeting. No doubt. The board members know a lot about what is going on in Moses' life. And they are no longer willing to put up with it. There were a number of questions about Moses' increased expenditures that only he could answer. Lord, I thank you for giving me the wisdom to address this matter the best way I could. My God, please continue to help me. Dear Lord, when will you show me mercy and bring this situation to an end? Many years of my life have gone by. Years that neither Moses nor I would ever recover again. My life is becoming too complicated and Moses is not showing any sign of repentance. Father, members of the ministry will eventually find out before Moses makes a turn around. Lord, I don't want your work to be ridiculed and put into disrepute. You are the only one who can release my husband. Because the Bible says, whatever the son makes free is free indeed. Please, Lord, break this bondage of shame, promiscuity, and adultery that he has been living under. Oh, Lord, arise and let your enemies be scattered. Please, Lord, don't put me to shame. <laughs> Mercy. Mercy. Forgive me. Uh, sweetheart, what is it? I'm sorry that I have been cheating on you. I have abused your trust. As well as the love and privilege God bestowed on me. By giving me a beautiful wife. Lovely children and a thriving ministry. I hate myself for deceiving everyone and thinking I was so clever. It is really true that the devil roams around like a roaring liar, seeking whom to devour. All these years. I never realized the devil was just setting me up for destruction. Uh, sweetheart, tell me, what really happened? I've been in relationship with Toella. 
Tuella. Tuella Anderson, our former schoolmate. The one you've known all these years. And you let me think I was clever about. <laughs> I will tell you everything. Um, oh, sweetheart, please sit. You said you eventually made a discovery two days ago. A terrible one. In my usual practice, I traveled to visit Toela that Monday morning. I embarked on my journey to return to you on Thursday. I had driven halfway when I realized I had forgotten my phone in her place. Knowing it would be difficult to explain where I had left my phone to you. And knowing I had so many information on that phone, I decided to turn around and drive to get it. <laughs> Being in a hurry, I parked my car outside and walked into the compound. I walked straight into the house. I didn't see anyone. Of course, I knew the children would be in school. But to my surprise, I did not even see the maid in the house. Perhaps she went out on an errand. I headed straight to where I had left the phone. Just then, I heard the sound of two voices from the bedroom. It was Toella and a man. I later recognized the male voice to be that of Vandy, who I believed was Toella's cousin all along. <laughs> they were talking about me. Toella, mm -hmm. remember when we agreed that you should enter into an affair with Moses? The arrangement was that you should make him send his wife packing so that you can gain total control over his life, his ministry finances, and church members. But after eight long years, the only person you have succeeded in manipulating has been Moses. You are nowhere near the church, not to talk of the church funds. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I have played my own part as I agreed. I have kept his wife informed of the husband's betrayer. I even told her that you gave birth to a child for him and that he bought you a car, got a store for you and even built a house for you. I have also visited her to furnish her with details of her husband's infidelity but she has refused to be moved to anger. I don't know why she has not been confronting her husband or even divorcing him. I don't know exactly what is keeping her silent. <laughs> Despite all we have done to get rid of Mercy, she's still there. Why is it so difficult for us to achieve our aim? I think it is Mercy's prayers that have been blocking us. But for how long will Mercy's prayers continue to block us? This operation is getting too long. Bandy, ah. <sighs> you need to be a little more patient. How many husbands could enjoy the life you are enjoying? Uh -uh. For eight years, another man has taken over all your responsibilities, leaving you to just sit back and be comfortable with the money that I'll be receiving from Moses. Eh? You have the best of both worlds, as you are a bachelor in your own apartment when Moses is with me, and a married man with me and our children in this house, all three of them, when Moses returns home to Mercy. Your children have a roof over their heads. They are receiving quality education. Bandy, you have every reason to be more patient till we fully achieve our aim. You are right, you are right. Hmm. 
The only problem is, I think the power high over Moses is beginning to diminish as he has started questioning some of my demands. I am planning to visit Baba for a more powerful ring that will ensure that Moses is perpetually under my control. If I'm correct, this will be the sixth ring you'll be getting in these eight years. Yes, I will let Baba know that the rings are lasting less and less time. The last one I changed was over two months ago. Hmm. The first one I had lasted over ten months before I had to change it. Hmm. Indeed, Mercy's prayers are getting too powerful for us. All evidences of her husband's adultery and betrayal have not moved her at all. Baba's most potent arrow that was meant to strike her dead did not even penetrate. All attempts to render her children useless have been in vain. <sighs> hmm. I even made attempts to befriend her and seduce her into an affair with me, but she refused. <sighs> this is getting out of hand. We have to get something done fast and real fast too. Kai. Mm. Through their discussion, I realized that Bandy was actually Tuella's first and legal husband. What? He's not dead, but very much alive. They were never divorced. All the while, when I was here with you, Tuella was with Bandy. I have been in bondage all these eight years, and I never knew it. Only your prayers kept me from total destruction. <laughs> As I stood there listening to them, I felt like something that had been holding me down suddenly lifted from me. It was like the chains that had held me bound for eight years broke and fell off. I left the house totally broken. I got into my car and started to drive around aimlessly. I was sobbing hard as I asked myself what I had done and how I was going to return to my God, to you, to our children, and to the church members who believed in me to lead them. I did not notice when the night or the next day went by, as I pondered on what to do, <sighs> finally, this night, I decided to come back home. Sweetheart, I knew all along you were in a relationship with Tuella. I knew virtually everything you just narrated to me. Then, why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you make any trouble with me? Why did you not bring the roof of this house down? It is because he is all that matters. Who? Jesus. Jesus is all that matters. I was determined not to miss heaven. I decided not to let anything else matter to me or come in the way of my walk with the Lord. Apart from the dream the Lord showed me to comfort and encourage me, the Lord has been showing me in so many ways how much He loves me. I don't need to rely on a cheating man's love to be fulfilled. 
the love of God has always been more than enough for me. God is all that matters. He alone picks me up when I am down. He fills my cup when I am dry. He knows my tomorrow from my yesterday. My dear, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Sweetheart, I forgave you a long time ago, but I am worried about your salvation. You need to put your life in order. You need to repent and begin afresh. You need to return to your first love and your zeal for God. Obviously, you let your God down eight years ago, and that was why Tawella was able to re-enter into your life. I had always known her to be a woman capable of all sorts of evil, but you entertained her to the point where her fetish ring was able to control you. You have to come to a point where God is all who matters. No man should come between you and your God. At this point, you can't hide anymore. You need to open up to the entire church members and beg them for forgiveness too. I'll do just that. In fact, it won't be long. I'll do it during the service on Sunday. I already know the disciplinary action the church board of elders will take against me. And I'm ready for it. All I need is to be fully restored to my God and my family. Mercy, I believe you have forgiven me Darling, I have forgiven you from the depth of my heart. Thank you. What does this camera have to say? Uh, Don't speak it. Let's hear him out. Just let's hear, let's hear him out. Hello. Hello, Mercy. This is Mr. Bandy. I know. I want to give you the latest update about your husband. I already have the latest update about my husband. God has delivered my husband from your evil trap, which you and Toella used to keep him in bondage. You mean? I mean, my husband, Pastor Moses Ademulero, has escaped your demonic conspiracy. He has returned to me his children, and the ministry the Lord has committed into his hands. That is not possible. It is possible. I am right here with my beloved wife. God has exposed you and Tuella. You are the real father of those teenage sons. Bandy, you are the real father of the youngest one, including the one Tuella miscarried recently. I heard everything. The two of you played me for the last eight years, but Jesus delivered me from your claws. As for me and my house, Jesus is all that matters. Hello? Bandy? Are you there? Hello? You heard all I said. Um, uh, um. Uh, well, um, uh. Dear Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for being the rock and the pillar on which I was able to lean on in those difficult years. Always remember, I did not promise you a trouble-free voyage in life. You will always have storms and turbulences, but if you hold on to me, I will always bring you safely to the other side. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am grateful. Thank you. Through trials, through afflictions, 